Okay, people, we're going to be showing this radio rare quite well. Let's see. So, there's actually some problems with this radio, but this is a Sears 40 channel. But this now does not look like that. If you see the picture, what it looks like, it looks more like that picture right there. It has all those knobs like that. And that's what it is. So it looks almost like that picture, but except the knob's kind of different. So, it must have had like a, a five pin type thing they had back then in the 1970s. This is actually from 1976, I think, or 1977. This is actually a Sears brand name. But there's actually major problems. Um... My microphone squeals from my stock mic, but I checked the chips in there and looked in there. It's got to be, it's got to be the four pin uh, microphone they put in there. I might have to get another one of these radios to find a similar model very close to the Sears brand name. Might have to find one of these Road Talker 40s. And they're almost the same components. It doesn't matter if it's a digital display. You probably can, I probably have to swipe out the microphone, the 4-pin tube back to the 5-pin mic, like the realistic radio type, Radio Shack radios, that's what they take. So this chassis you have to see, I will take it apart soon, but not yet. I'm going to show you how that powers on and show you what the problem I'm having. The good thing about this, it came with the original schematics type booklet. You can see right there. This is actually the original booklet here, and the schematics are right in this whole entire page. I'll show you in the back. So it's usually, I think it takes 4 watts on regular AM 12 on sideband. The sideband works, but I think it's all free. See, there's the schematics right there. So I might have to put this on the internet to upload this later on. I'll have to scan this. For anybody wants to see it, probably will do that soon. You'll be able to get this, but I'll put that out there on the in the share link so you can actually get a chance to do that. I'll put it down in the description down below when you have some time. Um, it's got all the frequency chart things. It's pretty quite cool, but it's pretty cool. It's actually got all the call signs in this one, but I'm definitely going to be uploading the schematics. That's probably the best way I'll do it. But this is actually from the 1970s between the early 80s. But this is actually what the model is, it looks like. Sears own manual. So this is actually what the model is. And I'm going to probably be putting it on the web or the schematics. So people can have a chance at it. But if anyone wants to help me out this problem, let me know. And I'm going to show you what it looks like inside of this thing in a minute. Hold on a second. Let me plug in my own. Let me see. Let me plug in my own. My camera in right now. So in case that happens. So we don't run out of battery power. Either way. Okay. Run that up there real soon. The battery power will be right on the other side. Yeah, quite good up there. There we go. Much better. Shouldn't run out of battery power at all. Okay. So as long as we don't yank this off the tail, we're good. So you'll be able to see the radio, and this thing is really quite good. Look how big this thing comes with. But I bought this for about four, about $39, free shipping. It came all the way from Ocala, Florida. Took at least a day and a half, two days to get here on a first class mail. I bought it from an eBay seller. They came with all the racks and stuff with it. 
It's pretty good. I ain't worried about the racks. It came with a clip. What counts as the radio? I'm going to bring it down the camera here a little bit soon so you actually guys can see it very quite good. I'm going to be hooking this up right now. So I'm running this video right now. So it's got a cable, coax fuse, but I'm going to show you my big problem with this radio is. Before I start on that, I will hook this up. So, so we do, these actually will work for cigarette lighter adapters. I hooked it up earlier today and I tried that out. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, how beautiful it looks. I'll stand it up in a minute and show you. But I'm going to put it down lower, then we'll put the camera back up a little later. So you guys can see the chips on both sides. And maybe you guys can get an estimate. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to power up the radio and show you the problem that I'm having. So you guys... But when I put a Superstar mic on it, it does not transmit that. I'll go get that mic in a minute after I do this. But I'm going to keep this video running for a while. So you guys can get an idea what it looks like down there. Yeah, I'll do that so they interested. Okay. Wait a minute. That's on the wrong side. Don't want to do that to fry your radio. But this is a thing from the 19th century spec. For $39, I couldn't beat it, but it just needs some repairs, I think. I think it's actually the 5 pin, 4 pin mic needs to go back to its original size. Or it could be a relay. There's a transmission relay inside of that you can see. And I just wanted to show you guys out there. There's not, there's like a few videos of the Roadwalker 40s on the internet. There's some are sideband, some are not. And there's actually a guy on the video that has a video that comes very close to mine. Instead his channel thing is very different than mine. Okay, so we're going to be showing it down here. But I got a walkie talkie so I hooked up so you can actually hear it. Let's see. Let me make sure my plug is on. Oh. There it goes. You hear it. Yeah, it's working. Let me put the cap underneath this thing in a minute. It doesn't look like, but I tried an echo mic, I'll go get that in a minute. I'm gonna put this camera down low so you can actually see it really good. That's the school that makes the sideband works fine. I'm gonna show you what it looks like down here in a minute. I'm gonna give you guys an idea. And I'll show you the microphone. Let me lower this down to you so you guys don't get freaked out about this. Let me put some light on so you guys can see it a little better. Not an auto light, dang it. Uh, this light. There we go. And you see the four pin on the microphone. I'm going to show it right here. That's what it has on that four pin mic. This is what it did to that side. You can see the four pin mic on the back. Wires that came with it. It's not a normal connector, it's like a two-way connector, but I hook a Cyric lighter adapter. You can see a four pin on it. I think it should have been a five pin, 
but I've never seen some of the other videos of the Sears don't have the, the five pins, like the realistic radios. This is a radio that's very different than all the other ones. It's in good shape, but there's a definitely downside of it. So I'm going to go get the Superstar mic so we can do that last. Then we're going to take this radio apart and show you all the chips and schematics and all that so you guys can get a shot of it. Let me see what it looks like in the dark. Get you guys an idea. So you guys can see the radio in the dark. It's got LED lights in it. It's pretty quite cool. So I'll put it back on. Awesome. So I'm going to go get the super star mic in a minute. So, I'm going to try with the Superstar mic and show you, you can't hear nothing on the transmission. When I tried this with my Cobra base station earlier today, yeah, you can hear me on the side when it was tuning. I think what's happened, let's see, audio, audio, see, watch. Here, you're going to hear me. And I put it on channel 12. Audio, audio, testing 1, 2, 3. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, audio, testing 1, 2, 3. Audio. Audio, audio, see, let me show you. Audio, audio, testing one, two, three, offside man. Audio, 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 testing one, two, three, audio, audio, audio. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, testing one, two, three, there's no AM on this one. Audio, audio, testing one, two, three. Audio, audio. Audio, audio, audio. Testing one, two, three. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, testing one, two, three. See? Nothing. I'm going to show you in a minute. Audio, audio. See? Nothing on the echo mic. I'm going to show you in a minute so you can actually hear me on my Cobra base station. When I put this back on a minute. We're going to put the stock mic on a minute and we're going to take this thing apart soon and show you what you guys can see. Yeah, I'm going to show you what the echo mic is here on the side van for a couple minutes so you can actually get an idea. I'm going to turn off this radio so you can hear it that way. I'm going to show you if it's, that's the problem. It could be a crystal chip either way, to be honest. Or an I'm 
trying to show you guys the troubleshoot this so you can help me out there on YouTube. And we're on the lower side, I want to show you the upper side. The side vents are working, I don't know what they're going to sound. I'm going to show you guys how to run the It was free shipping. I mean, I didn't know it was going to trip it or not, but... Let me see. This could be upper side, though. Who knows what it's saying? It sounds very good. Let me see, yeah. There's actually a black mark right there. I'm going to show you the microphone problem. It's not going to hurt the radio, but we're going to take this apart soon so you guys can get an idea. It's an old radio, but here's the microphone. But. See, that's what it does. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Audio testing 1, 2, 3. Audio. Audio testing 1, 2, 3. Audio. 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 Audio, testing one, two, three, audio. But when you turn it up, it squeals. Audio, let me show you this. Audio, testing one, two, three. Audio. No transmission, but it does talk on one end, but it does not. Watch. 
Audio, 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 testing one, two, three. Too loud. Audio, audio, testing one, two, three. Audio, audio. Audio, testing one, two, three. Audio, 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 audio. Testing one, two, three. Audio, audio. See? Audio testing one two three. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, audio. See, so there's no transmission. Audio, audio, audio. See the meter moving a little bit? The meter's working. Audio, audio. Test, 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 test. Audio. Testing one two three. Audio, audio. Testing one two three. Audio. Audio, audio, audio. That's the problem we're having right now, watch. Testing one, two, three, audio, audio, audio. That's the lower side band. Audio, testing one, two, three, audio. See, there's no AM. Let me turn that down. Audio testing one two three audio 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 watch this audio audio testing one two three audio 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 testing one two three audio 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 testing one two three audio 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 right there audio testing one two three audio 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 testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Audio audio audio. Audio testing one two three. Audio. Audio testing one two three. Audio. Audio testing one two three. Audio 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 right there. Turn four. Audio testing one two three. Audio right there. Audio testing one two three. Audio, audio, audio. Audio. Audio testing one two three. See there's nothing on AM. Audio testing one two three. See it's on lower side band. This is actually not area. Upper side band. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Audio, 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 right there. Ten four, ten four. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Audio, audio, right there. Audio testing right there. Break, break, break. One two, break, 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 break. Audio, audio, right there. Ten four. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Audio, 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 right there. Ten four. Break one two break break break. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Audio audio right there. Ten four ten four ten four ten four right there. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Right there right there. Break one two break break break. Break one two break break break. Audio audio right there. Audio testing one two three. Audio audio right there. Break one two, break, break, break. Audio, audio, right there. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three, right there. Audio. Break one two, break, break, break. Audio. See? Audio, testing one two, see? Three, no AM. See that? Audio, testing one two three. Audio, audio. Audio right there. Break one, two, break, break, break. Audio, audio, see? No AM. It's got upper side band. I don't know if it's a 40 channel bond or something, but it's probably a microphone that needs to be switched out. So we're going to shut this radio off. I'm going to show you how to take this baby apart. It's going to take 10 seconds to do it. And you guys can see the schematics and everything. But I'm going to be putting this on YouTube and certain people who can see this. But I know 
I'll try out the same with another side bend mobile rig soon. I'm gonna look for a really nice one. But this one's just a parts repair thing for this radio probably. But probably could find some more radios like this one. But yeah. If anyone is trying to tell me what I need to do, help me out this radio, just let me know. But I'll probably have to find the components and all that. Probably have to switch back to five pins. Like the ones on the Rotockers you've seen. So I'm gonna unplug this right now. Let this drain out. But at least I got the schematic so you guys can take a look at that. I'll probably put it out there real soon on the scanners. And I'll put it on a share file you guys can download it for free. And you can share it everywhere you want. And I'll make sure I'll do that. But right now we're going to take this guy apart. And we're going to show you how it works. So I'm going to get you the looks of it. See what you guys think. It's going to take you a couple of, min couple of minutes to do it. But yeah. But yeah, I'm going to put this back up there so you guys can see the whole thing. Okay, make sure this thing is set up right. Make sure. That's why I got to show it to someone on YouTube because I had Because there's someone out there who knows about radios and I get an idea. You guys can take a look at this one. I'm going to take it apart. I know it looks kind of crazy, but what counts is what I'm going to show you the part in the radio. As long as the camera lines up, we're good. I'm going to make sure it lines up right on the mark. There we go. So we're going to be able to show you right now. Just make sure this power supply is off. Gonna make sure I turn it on the power. Just make sure it's a drain. Okay. I'll be putting this back together after we shut off this video after this point. So you guys have to take a look at this. But I know some videos actually have this type of radio, but it's very rare. There's like five, six videos of this radio, but the ones with the side band is what I got. So I'm trying to show you guys what this is right now. Good metal case this thing is built like a tank but it came with some stuff but I'm sorry about what happened to the radio but I bought it for the price of before and I didn't know sometimes when they say they're untested sometimes they can be ones that are working some are not but this is also what comes with the cable like you can see in the back let me show you the model number for you before I get down here to do it you guys can take a look at that Wait a minute. You can pause your video, look at the model number of that. Very quite good. And that's actually where the fuse is at. That little black thing you see down there, below that number. Yeah, that's actually a fuse. That's where you change it out and it pops out. Okay. And this is your connector that does that. That came with the cable. I'm going to show you how to take this thing apart. We're going to be ready to go on that. See the four pins on that? Someone actually modified this thing. You can tell.
But I was trying to get a radio that has side bands, so I was looking for I have a base station of the side band, a Cobra 138. It does really quite good.